Hey, what's going on guys? We leave you to be here back with another video and welcome to another Overlooked Cards episode. Today we're going to be talking about the Capture Trap card from Bis Rising Retort. Now this was released as a secret rare and to be honest with you, a lot of people actually forgot about the card and um, I haven't seen it used in any decks, mainly because it is a little bit situational and it is mostly considered a side deck card. So its effect is as follows, when your opponent activates a Spell or Trap card with the same name as one in your graveyard, you negate the activation and if you do destroy that card, then you can add one card with that name from your graveyard to your hand. So the conditions that need to be satisfied are that you basically need to have used the card previously in the duel and your opponent needs to have the card in their deck, which isn't all that uncommon. So when you actually come up with the cards that this could be used with, there are actually a lot. So you have Mystical Space Typhoon, Stable Spells like Monster Reborn, Dark Hole and Heavy Storm, Stable Traps, well it depends on the player, uh, Solemn Warning, Bottomless Trap Hole, Dimensional Prison, Compulsory Evacuation Device, and then of course you have archetype specific spells and traps such as Reinforcement of the Army or Emergency Call or Miracle Fusion for the likes of Warrior based decks or Hero decks. Charge of the Light Brigade, Searcher Spells, uh, Salvage in the likes of Mermails and Atlanteans, and Agents. Well, I'm not really too sure what common spells and traps that they would run, probably not that many. But you know, you could definitely think of a lot of examples of cards, especially if you draw this late game. I feel that's when it's really going to be the most effective. Of course, the opposite is also true in that if you draw it early game, you're pretty much screwed because your opponent hasn't used anything, you haven't used anything, the graveyard is pretty much empty, and the card is all but dead. So that is the danger of using this card. That's why I would only really use it at one copy and I would only ever side it in in a mirror match or something like that in which you knew for a fact that your opponent was running similar spells and traps to you. One of the dangers of using this card that I have just thought of is that it could make you a little bit trigger happy with regard to the traps that you use. So you might want to start using up your traps really, really quickly so that you have a lot of spells and traps in your graveyard and that if your opponent activates any of them, you get a free negation. But the problem is that you can't just throw away your traps like they're nothing. You need to use them at the right time. You need to play the game the way you normally play it without thinking about your face down retort. So the thing I would say about this card is that, as I said, drawing a late game is amazing simply because you're going to have more stuff in your graveyard that you use at a natural time, at a time that you felt was right. You didn't feel pressured into using your spells and traps so that you could activate this card and just get a free plus one. Because that's all it is, a plus one. There are plenty of other cards that enable you a plus one, and I'm sure you don't need to go to a lot of trouble to use those. So with that in mind, I would only recommend retort at one copy, as I've said. I would only use it in side deck, and other than that, it is a pretty decent card. Only goes for $3.50 on Troll and Toad if you want to pick up one copy and try it out in your decks. But anyway guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I am signing out. Peace guys.